There's a couple of ways that I like to use the Mighty Grip powder. If you're a beginner, you might like to use the powder across your whole hand so you get a complete grip. If you're more advanced, you might like a little less grip and therefore you can just apply it across the fingertips. If you're applying the Mighty Grip powder, just tap a little bit into the palm of your hand. Then very gently, press the hands together so that you can contain the powder between both hands and don't rub it or let it fly away, otherwise you're going to lose the powder between them. From there, you have to squeeze your hands together because Mighty Grip is activated by heat and you need to generate the heat between your hands by squeezing and keeping them quite tight. What I like to do is alternate my grip, squeezing between the palms, and sometimes I would squeeze between the fingertips, particularly if that's the area that I've applied it to. After a very short time, you'll start to feel the product activate. So my hands are starting to get a bit warmer and they're feeling a little bit tacky now. And once that product's activated, you won't see the white powder on your hands, you won't have a dry feeling of the powder being fresh on there. From there, your grip's activated and you're ready to use a pole. Now, for beginners, Mighty Grip's great because you can actually practice your moves with a lot more confidence. You can practice inverting, climbing, and you don't have to worry about slipping down the pole so quickly. When you're advanced, Mighty Grip's also a great training aid so that you can practice more advanced moves with a little bit more confidence. You know you're not going to slip when you're upside down, and it allows your body to get into position while you're learning a new move. Another way that I like to use Mighty Grip is if I don't want to have it on my hands alone, I might get someone else to apply it to their hands, squeeze them together, activate it like we did before, and then as soon as you feel it being tacky, that person needs to come and squeeze their hands around the pole. It works really well on a spinning pole because it moves with you. And the mighty grip is transferred slightly to the pole just to give you that little extra grip. If you've activated it on your own hands and then you go and perform on the pole, it's not going to transfer to the pole. So you need to get this done quite quickly if you want a little bit more grip on the actual pole itself. Another method that I also like to use is putting the mighty grip just between the thigh area so that when you get on, on the pole to do upside down moves or leg grip moves, you get that little bit of grip there as well. Now that would be applied in the same way. I would heat up my hands first, activating the product, and then just squeezing the leg gently so that the product is activated onto the leg as well.